Imagine a world where science and philosophy intertwine, where the pursuit of knowledge becomes a guiding light for civilizations. This was the world of Al-Kindi, a man whose influence on Islamic civilization is as profound as the deepest ocean. His remarkable life achievements and contributions continue to echo through the annals of history, painting a vivid picture of a man who was as much a polymath as he was a philosopher. Born into the noble Kinder tribe in Kufa, around the year 801, Al-Kindi was an Arab through and through. His lineage, untouched by foreign blood, was an embodiment of authentic Arab intellect and erudition. His father was a government official during the reign of the Caliph Harun al-Rashid, providing Al-Kindi with a fertile ground for his intellectual growth. As a child, tragedy struck Al-Kindi's life when he lost his father. However, his spirit remained unbroken. He embarked on a journey of learning, delving into various fields of knowledge in Kufa, Basra and Baghdad. From religious studies to philosophy, from logic to mathematics, from music to astronomy, and from physics to medicine, Al-Kindi's thirst for knowledge knew no bounds. His genius was recognized by his contemporaries, with his contributions to philosophy and discoveries in medicine gaining particular acclaim. His expertise also extended to engineering, making him a well-rounded scholar of his time. However, this did not shield him from envy. His achievements sparked resentment among some, leading to attempts to imprison, whip, and boycott him. Despite these challenges, Al-Kindi's resolve never wavered. In the realm of languages, Al-Kindi's proficiency extended beyond his native Arabic. He mastered Greek and Syriac, which opened doors to a wealth of foreign knowledge. This linguistic prowess played a significant role in his appointment as a translator of important foreign books under the patronage of the Caliph al-Mamun. Al-Kindi's scientific discoveries and philosophical thoughts were monumental, placing him on par with luminaries like Ibn al-Haytham and al-Biruni. His innovative ideas often surpassed those of other great scholars, shaping the course of Islamic civilization. Without his contributions, the advancement of Islamic civilization might have taken a different path. In summary, Al-Kindi was a beacon of enlightenment in the Islamic Golden Age. His life was a testament to the power of knowledge and the human spirit. His achievements in various fields of science and philosophy laid the foundations for future generations of scholars. His contributions to Islamic civilization were transformative, reflecting his enduring influence. Al-Kindi's legacy is not just his remarkable body of work, but also his unwavering dedication to the pursuit of knowledge, a dedication that continues to inspire to this day.